Okay, we're live. So let's get on with this. Cool, cougar drawers. Venom from the Spider Man. Why Venom from the Spider Man? I'm not sure I can tell you, to be honest. Uh, he's a character I like. I did see Venom recently. Um, I did watch a Todd McFarlane documentary recently, but he was, it was really more about Spawn than it was about Venom. Actually, that's... Let's come in with a new layer. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is Todd McFarlane's version of Venom. Uh, maybe... Ten years after the creation of Venom, I'm thinking of if, if Venom was going on the Smiley Show, which he might have already done. Actually, I have drawn Venom before. It would it would be an older version, not a newer version, because there have been several strong variations on the character. Uh, Eddie Brock was the first host for the Symbiote. That came from space, I think. Is that is that? I mean, you know, Venom is one of those characters where they they change his origin story every few years. I reckon. Uh, he was a reporter at the not the Daily Bugle. No, the Daily Bugle, not the Daily Globe. Yeah, J. J. Fiedem. He resented Peter Parker. Peter Parker was wearing the black suit. He didn't realize it was alive. Uh, when he did, he got rid of it, and it bonded with Eddie Brock. And we want the details not not to actually be accurate here. Um, Venom is a very dangerous enemy for Spider-Man, but he's actually not a, like a dangerous character. Uh, he's immune to Peter Parker's spider sense, or at least he used to be. They, they could have retconned all of this. Uh, which, I, th I think the way... Yeah, I think someone tried to push Peter Parker in front of a train, and like on the lead-up to the introduction of Venom, and I, obviously Peter Parker didn't end up in front of the train, but his spider sense didn't warn him. I don't remember quite how it went down. So, yeah, I, I might have to focus on the, sp the spider emblem separately here. Uh, yeah, so Venom knows that Peter Parker is Spider-Man because the symbiote tells Eddie Brock. And then at some point, Eddie Brock loses the symbiote. It goes to Flash Thompson, the guy who used to bully Peter Parker at school. Uh, Flash Thompson, I think, joins the army, loses his legs. But when he... When he bonds with Venom he gets them back but he becomes a very very different type of Venom he's like I think he's like a like a special agent kind of he uses guns and he look he looks like he's wearing tactical gear I don't really know anything about that Venom it looks pretty cool but it's none of my business and then uh, the Venom symbiote I'm sure at some point it goes back to Eddie Brock, but the, the other major not Eddie Brock Venom is Mac Gargan, the guy who used to be the Scorpion. Uh, and he looks like uh, Venom, traditional Venom, but he's got eyes um, and may actually be an attempt to make Venom less of a, a, a kind of like a joke character. Because, I mean, having, you know, I kind of own the, the origins, the original origin story of, of Venom. And, and right from the start, he's kind of talking about eating brains, but it's it's quite obviously goofy. So so the, f the fact that Venom's kind of a loser in the, the new Tom Hardy movie, uh, the symbiote claims to be a loser. Tom Hardy's version of Eddie Brock is a loser too. It's, it's very in keeping with the character. Who is, I mean, he was so overpowered, and this is something I learned off Comic Tropes as well, he was he was so overpowered in his first kind of decade on the job that Venom got in a fight. Not only, he wasn't just trouncing Marvel superheroes left, right and centre, he beat the shit out of Superman uh, in a, a Marvel DC crossover 
And I mean, he 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 mopped the floor with Superman. It wasn't even close. It, it's bizarre. But this is the kind of, I guess, financial clout Venom must have had when he came in. He must have been very popular. He's a very cool-looking character. Um, being, you know, entirely, almost entirely black. And, you know, just just being, just, you know, the, the black symbiote costume is probably the best Spider-Man costume ever, right? Because it's so chic. Uh, but, you know, the comic tropes episode, Venom is a goofball. Uh, is 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 where a lot of this information is coming from. I might leave a link in the description, or I might trust you're a grown up that can can figure out how to Google things for themselves. We'll see. It's not like I'm trying to get out of doing any work or anything. If I thought something was work, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it in the first place. So these these first two images that I'm kind of focusing on. Th this is like. This is probably Todd McFarlane's first reveal image of Venom. His face is very different from quite possibly how Todd McFarlane drew him after the fact. Even even in the first Venom uh, prop, proper issue. I mean, but yeah, Venom, Venom was big in the 90s because he totally got his own uh, comic and I've got a couple of issues of that. It wasn't, wasn't anything crazy, but you know, the, the 90s were uh, boom times for comics. So, so they were kind of pushing everything in every direction. In the end, it kind of came back to bite everybody in the ass. I suppose, except for the, the, the people at Image. What am I? Yeah, I'm. I'm just here to to see the weird face because I mean, I draw Venom. My my kind of facial construction is kind of like something like this. I mean, I I've, I've got a great picture of the the. the some subtle differences in, in Venom head construction that I didn't even realize. I've seen them all before, but I didn't realize they weren't all just the same thing. I mean, really, as long as you just draw a big hench dude that's... I was going to say a hench black dude, but, like, black dudes aren't black. Venom is, is like, absent of light, right? He is, he is actually black. I'm not talking about Terry Crews. That's a big black dude. Unless he isn't. I mean, he was the last time I checked, but that was not recently. So yeah, th these are these are kind of the headshots. Like toys are amazingly accurate. So yeah, so so this one is like the the Todd McFarlane one. Now I I kind of think I draw Venom like this, but then I'm like, how is how is this so different from this? They're not. It's not really a pronounced difference. But like. Right, let's kind of have a look at the head shape. The mouth is kind of here. And his eyes, so that's like Spider-Man eyes. And then he has a mouth, which is <laughs> fucking creepy. Um, it's funny because it kind of looks goofy, but actually if you, if you, if you look at the design, Spider-Man with like m massive teeth, that, that is, that's just, that kind of messed up. So yeah, the the kind of more like this, maybe a bit bigger. Yeah, that's not that's almost how he is in the movie, but it's not quite. So yeah, this this is just like a normal chin, but then here you have like a an extended jaw and also no tongue I should be closer together and then the difference here is I mean I don't know if you really even want to bring up the the, the, the teeth I 
I think there should be a certain amount of randomness to how you go about doing the shape of the eyes. We can go into that a bit more. in a minute. Yeah. I don't typically draw venom with like nuts teeth like this. This is probably the venom the, the I assume that Eddie Brock's got the symbiote back in some kind of canonical story now so it's kind of just like an exaggerated version of the 90s style the Venom had it as at the height of his popularity I mean the head and the spider symbol are the only two elements that actually kind of require knowledge I mean, other than that, it's just a big muscle dude. Alright, so yeah, he's got the, the Venom symbol on the front and the back. Can I extrapolate that, that, that data? Well, actually, yeah, let's... Yeah, th this is a great character to show how little I know about how, how the, <laughs> the human body's muscles are constructed. Yeah, so let's, let's just start here. Yeah, that, that angle is just confusing my simple crocodile brain. Forearms, right? Because spiders have eight. Yeah, there you go. And presumably, it stops before his buttocks. But it's it's not it's not very normal to uh, see these kind of characters drawn from behind. But then you'll always get a dynamic range of. Yeah, you see that that's like got a different. kind of a uh, shape to it the, the the venom symbol that kind of looks like it would almost be like the, the spider-man symbol just completely be on his front Right, Th these are carnage eyes. And these are Spider Man eyes. Yeah. And then Venom is just like don't <laughs> don't do as above. You know what, those could be carnage eyes again actually if I'm not careful. Yeah, his, his mouth should be like that. Maybe not. Maybe that's why people keep drawing him with wonky teeth because they, they don't want to don't want to commit. I think since he's called Venom and the Venom's kind of about the Venom from his fucking massive silly ass tongue makes a lot of sense that massive silly ass tongue is in a lot of shots. Now I don't think his tongue has any I don't think that Venom has any particular superpower elements or anything. I haven't wikied him in a long, long time. 
so I could be wrong but yeah I think we're gonna just just settle down now and get my real estate back yeah I mean because Venom's a goofball it makes a lot of sense for him to be on the smiley show because he could do some kind of oh yeah see I'm, I'm starting to think of things now he could do some kind of but what does it taste like challenge with um, uh, Naked Snake from Metal Gear Solid 3 because that's like one of his, his catchphrase lines even if something yeah uh, even if the people on the codec tell him something is is toxic and poisonous and he should she, he should stay away from it he still has to ask you know but what does it taste like and uh, it, it, it's I mean the codec calls in Metal Gear Solid 3 are probably the last the last time the codec was just chock a block of like funny silly conversations that you could completely play the game for 30 hours and never hear I'm sure you can find YouTube compilations of those things because because Metal Gear Solid 4 onwards the codec took a kind of a, like a massive hit in terms of the amount of content that was in there and how it was hidden and how many people you spoke to using the codec in Metal Gear Solid 1 it's like how you save your game how you get information on the bosses the weapons the place background knowledge on the characters sometimes come out you know you talk to someone long enough they'll say something weird and then you're like oh you like James Bond movies and it's like that's right I do miss that shit. So is this how I construct my venom? Something like this, yeah. I think of the top half of his head and the second, uh, the bottom half is sort of like two two separate things. Uh, and I, I don't have a particular personal preference when it comes to if if you know there, there's all the all of this kind of uh, I guess you would call it like anti symmetry to to how you build his eyes, but I, I think it is you know a, a picture is more dynamic when you make things less symmetrical I mean you don't you don't want to I mean a certain level of asymmetry is appreciated I'll tell you what using the chalk brush pen at this higher size is great for just like blocking in black and not like really having to commit too much to anything Uh, I did see Jim Lee in his last the last stream I saw him do like he has he uses a mechanical pencil but he's got more than one and he had one with a pretty thick lead so he could kind kind of like he was you know he's working on paper but he still wants to block in a lot of of uh, space quickly for the backgrounds without having to really commit to uh, you know fine line work. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the way I draw Venom, I don't worry too much about where I've positioned the the spider symbol, where the arms connect, where they where they cross over. I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm really not the guy to be too worried about continuity issues. It's uh, it's something I'm gonna have to do. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll make like a little challenge video to see if I can draw certain characters and maintain continuity of of sort of sort of various things. So that would be things like uh, the proportion of characters in relation to each other, the shape of you know, say say I draw Bruce Wayne, I have to draw him in in a couple of pages. 
uh, again and again and again. I have to try and make this this guy look like it's the same guy from the previous panels, even though I don't have the benefit of him wearing the, the you know the cowl. And then can I take this guy I've drawn, put him in the bat suit, and then keep the same chin? You know, that kind of thing. It's 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 a really embarrassing thing to be reading a comic and then to to have a picture of someone and you're like I don't know who this is. Uh, and you you know if you, if I'm sure in the Avengers there's at least two blonde white guys. There's Captain America. What color is Hawkeye's hair? If you can't tell if the artist can't like differentiate them, do you want to do that more like that? Then it's it's uh, time to look for a new job, isn't it? It's not like I'm looking to get a job at, in a major comic book company, but if I'm going to draw comic books, at least I'd like to pretend I can hear, adhere to a certain amount of... Well, I, I, I daren't use the word professional, but just, you know, artistic credibility. There's nothing wrong with being at art, but, you know, that... That is the, with the provisor that you should always be at least trying to get better. I tell you what, though, Venom's a lot easier to draw than Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of artists who are actually quite sad to see uh, the the black Spider-Man suit stop being Peter Parker's normal suit because that meant they had to go back to drawing all those lines. Kids love that fucking suit as well. I was on the bus yesterday and yeah, there was like a primary school outing or something at the bus stop and I was like, oh no, God, please no, don't get on this bus. But the point is, they didn't, but the, the point is uh, at least two of those kids that I, because I was checking, were wearing Marvel per paraphernalia and somebody had... Someone was wearing an Avengers hat and someone had like a like a Spider-Man something, I forget what. Either a backpack or... I mean, it, <laughs> who goes outside wearing Spider-Man pyjamas? But yeah, you'd be surprised. Some random veins because, you know, I don't know where they'd actually go. I should... I mean, maybe I want to use the... Uh, where are we? Soft eraser. This small. Yeah, I could get used to that. But then, yeah, but then I've got to come in and redo the lines. Let's just maybe help those teeth stand out a little bit yeah I mean any any character where you you have this amount of flexibility in how you handle the the teeth the eyes the musculature the placement of the the symbol it's fine do, do what you're gonna do but uh don't forget what you did because you're going to have to do that for the rest of the comic. Right, so he's a big dude. And typically is 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 drawn with <laughs> like he's Brock Lesnar. So his his head's never like you know, his his your average person. I mean, this this is a box man. But I've been watching a lot of Red Dwarf, so so I, you know, this is what people look like to me. That's a Crichton joke. Yeah, look that up. Yeah, so like, I've seen some very very interesting pictures of Venom's scale in relation to normal people. Actually, no, just uh, as I was googling him for this. I guess there's been some kind of uh, hulking up for the purposes of hot shotting to get another generation of kids into uh, Venom just in time for the movie, I'm sure. 
Yeah, see, this is why I don't. Oops. Don't typically. I typically use a hard eraser. It's great if you if you just want to slightly alter something, but if you if you've just drawn something that you're looking to get rid of. It's it's superior. In fact, let's have have the uh You know, maybe the hand should be up like that. Nothing quite like changing your mind about the pose uh, as you're doing it. But hey, even Jim Lee does that shit, so it's, it's nothing wrong with it. So if he's looking down. Oh yeah, and another thing I could actually point out is that you can, and this is something true of Spider-Man, depending on the canon, because it's something they do in in the the game. You can use his eyes to kind of, if you, if you like shrink one, it's it's kind of like he's squinting. So the the he has of this bizarre range of. Uh, facial expressions he could potentially be using right so uh, yeah i kind of want him to have this kind of weird ass grin thing going on here but let's, let's see how i feel about him having no tongue yeah see it's, it's not how i like to draw venom but then I, it's, it's one of those things when you only draw someone from that one angle, from that one picture you copied when you were, you know, like thirteen or whatever, you shift it up. It looks it looks worse because you've you've stepped away from that reference you had so very very long ago. Yeah, see, I'm I'm, I'm not even. I think I've just changed the design of the uh, the arm thing here. some kind of ball things attached to the the chest thing or something I think that's how it works I think when a man spends all this time reading Superman he'd know how to actually draw this stuff but it's one thing to look it's another thing to see and I am notoriously unobservant there's like a there, there was like a second-hand car dealership near where I live uh, and it's it's been there for my entire life uh, it's not closed but I don't I don't remember it closing I just I was walking past it and it's just it's all boarded up and I'm like when the hell did that happen uh, I should have <laughs> I probably did notice years ago and then just bloody well forgot but uh, yeah obviously I don't remember that I forgot and it's it's just one of those things that proves that for a guy who keeps claiming on his CV he, he has an attention to detail, uh, it's maybe not so true. Now, I didn't come here to draw Spider-Man, so how, how can I get out of this while saving face? Uh, I think it's something like that, and he's got a belt line. And then let's say the arm is like that. Easy, buddy. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do it like it's the 1960s and we'll just we'll just not do the lines. Uh, the one thing I can say that's positive about the 1960s Spider-Man uh, cartoon is I can at least appreciate uh, their decision to not animate such a complicated character by hand. With Obviously in the 60s without the aid of uh, 
technology. Although I, I can't tell you what technology does in, in 2019 to make animation easier. I'm sure it does something. Right, let's see if we can uh, not lose the details. Let's just... Uh, Putting a bit of a background here. Here's a wall. Oh, hold on, that's not how bricks work. Or at least this isn't how we draw bricks shorthand. Always split the line of bricks. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, if if I was uh, more inclined to to give Spider Man the time of day, he wouldn't be standing there with his his hands up like he he got caught doing the bad thing. But like I said, I didn't I didn't come here to draw Spider Man. Can I? change this fog so it's like or smoke or whatever it is so it's it's like spider you can see spider-man through it i mean why not i mean we are just making this shit up as we go along i'm sure he's saying something very sophisticated venom like uh <laughs> your head's at the level of my crutch Hilarity will ensue, and uh, Spider-Man's going, I married, thank you very much. Although I'm not sure if that's canonically true, but we're not here to discuss how Spider-Man's canon got wrecked by uh, Civil War 1. Alright, so can I really emphasise the hand? So yeah, the well, you know what? I'm I'm here. Let's just let's just color this real quick. Lasso. Uh, yeah, you you typically don't want to ever do anything in black. So there are two ways to do this. You could because Venom is done in black, but all his highlights can be like cleaned out. So you would like oh different layer. You would you would do the whole shoulder in black, and then you would shave out the bit you want in white. You, you could get away with doing Venom in black. Oh, that's grey, whoopsie doodles. But I think for this, I'm going to, I'm going to use the, the kind of this, the safe, uh, fit. I might, yeah, so just, you just pick a grey and then darken it up to get it as close to black as you can while it's still not. Yeah, I'll, I'll let the pencil come through. Because if you were going to really just draw Venom in black, that's really the, something to, to kind of consider from the start. And I think I'd effectively be drawing it again and defining the muscle highlights in a way that I don't need to do if I don't actually black everything in. So what color is Spider-Man's? It's blue-red, right? That seems wrong to me, but it's not. Uh, it might just be there's a Spider-Man blue that I'm not using. So yeah, I'm kind of starting with the middle layer, and then you know you've got. Yeah, there you go. I'm starting to see some Spider Guy. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa.
I mean, Venom's typically drawn with white teeth. I suppose if you wanted to gross people out, you could make them yellow. That might be something that happens with Matt Gargan. I wouldn't really know. I should probably have some dripping on Spider-Man's head, shouldn't I? Yeah, that's that's totally legit. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to we want a background. So you you want to pick colors that don't, you know, jump into the foreground. But you don't want to be too boring either. But I'll, I'll just probably just say, hey, I, hey, I've, I've got to, I've got to finish this before you know the last person watching decides they've had enough of this, which would be me at this point. It's not really fog, I guess, if it's. Uh... Some kind of smoky brown. And let's go. Okay, the venom got its own layer. That's that's worth remembering. Venom. That won't confuse anything. So let's uh, let's black some stuff in. But this isn't this isn't black. This is. Uh, Actually, what happens if you overlay? Ah, okay. That's fine. Right, that's not. Let's just uh, darken everything so Spider Man's head is a bit more discernible. Spider-Man under the arms. Uh, thigh. Bicep. Lower arm. Yeah, see now it looks like he's kind of leaning forward. Give him a bit of sideways reflective light. Let his uh, collarbone pop a bit. Which is probably working against my previous lighting decisions i do a lot of like light from the left light from the right and it's like wait that's not right you're supposed to pick one yeah see this is this is the issue with lasso filling when you want to color you leave a lot of these kind of undone bits this is why some people literally prefer to just color in like they were doing it on paper with felt tips. <laughs> you know what, Venom's been a good guy, so maybe he's literally saying something like, I'm, I'm a hero of justice and I'm here to stop you. And Spider-Man's so caught off guard, he's like, hands up, I didn't do it, I didn't mean it. I, I, where's my lawyer? Who can say, right? So yeah, Venom in gray, it might be better if that was a dark blue. Typically he's drawn in, in black and blue. I'm sure he's looked like that in some video games. It's more interesting you know what i think he's been blue and gray but yeah I, I'll, I'll stick with the gray maybe can we uh just go on this layer maybe see if we can play around nah that's probably ridiculous isn't it uh, yeah maybe blue for the highlights Why is El Capitan? Right, so Venom. 
This is this guy. Big dude. Uh, <laughs> he's as harmless as he's uh, scary looking. Yeah, so uh, Todd McFarlane drew him with a very different kind of face. Uh, he has a tongue. The, the, yeah, you, there's there's a lot of flexibility in how you approach him. Just, you know, give him a big mouth, give him Spider-Man eyes. He has some kind of spider symbol that changes quite frequently. Uh, especially when it's a different guy in the suit. Yeah. All right, now you get out of here and you give it a go. I uh, don't think you will, but uh, fingers crossed. Right, see you next time.